A warm welcome to all TVET lecturers. I am Gan Krishna from Macmillan. I am going to introduce you to all the recent updates in Mechanical Drawing and Design N5. The implementation date of the revised curriculum is September 2024. You will need the latest textbooks to make sure you are teaching the updated curriculum. Later in the video, I will explain how our brand new TVET First Students book and lectures guide will help you implement the new curriculum easily and confidently. The books are approved by the DHET so you can be confident that all curriculum requirements have been met in full. The logo, Revised Curriculum 2024, tells you that these are the correct books. But first, let's go through the curriculum itself. Why are there so many engineering revisions? Many of the curricula in engineering studies date back to the 1990s, some even to the 1980s. It was important to update them to make sure that students learn the necessary knowledge, principles and practices applied in mechanical engineering today. Students need to know the systems and components used in the industry and be able to deal with real issues and complex problems that are encountered in the workplace. What has changed in the Mechanical Drawing and Design curriculum? Module 1 of the old curriculum has been replaced. The other topics have remained substantively the same, except that the learning outcomes are now specified in much more detail. The order of the topics has also changed. Some of the changes to the content are moderate, while others are more substantial. The former Module 1 on friction and bearings has been completely replaced by the new Module 1 on ultimate and working stress for various types of materials. This module provides important information which helps students to understand the forces that act on a component. The module covers concepts such as tensile stress, shear stress, crushing stress, compressive stress, working stress, factor of safety, as well as bending and twisting calculations. Whereas the former Module 2 focused on calculations involving thin cylinders and riveted joints, the revised Module 2 mentions only descriptions, designs and sketches. Two new concepts are strength of the solid plate and efficiency of the riveted joints. The former Module 10 required calculations involving fillet welds, but the new corresponding Module 3 covers the description and design of fillet wells and butt joints. The former Module 4 on shafts has been renamed Design of Shafts for Power Transmission. The new Module 4 starts with calculations of the power transmitted by shafts. It then focuses on designing shafts for rigidity and for torsion only. The new Module 5 on keys, keyways, taper pin and splined connections corresponds to the former Module 3. Various types of keys are now specified and their applications are required. Their size also needs to be determined. Whereas the old module emphasized calculations of the length, width, thickness, etc. of the tapered and splined components, the new module rewords this simply as requiring their design. Both the former and new Module 6 deal with the design of couplings, although the classification of couplings and the operating mechanism of claw couplings have been added. The new Module 7 covers the old Module 7 and 8. These originally specified the design of the eye, fork and pin of a knuckle joint, as well as the solid or pierce rods and the cotter of a cotter joint. The new module summarizes this as simply the design of the two joints. The new module 8 corresponds with the former module 9 on engine details. The old syllabus called for both calculations and design, whereas the new one has rephrased this as demonstrating an understanding of their design. The new module 9 corresponds with the former module 5 on belt drives. The old syllabus specified various calculations and ratios for maximum power transmission. The new curriculum 
summarizes this as requiring their design while considering centrifugal tension. What is the weighting of the nine modules? The weighting is visible on the screen now. What about the exams? The mark allocation for exams will follow the weighting of the modules. It is an open book, four-hour exam which counts 100 marks. Students may use their notes and scientific calculators. However, no cell phones or programmable calculators are allowed. How do TVET First textbooks help me teach the new curriculum to my students? The TVET First Mechanical Drawing and Design N5 series includes a student's book and a lecturer's guide. The student's book comes packed with features that prepare students for exam success. Students learn the fundamental principles of mechanical design in clear and concise explanations and easy to understand language. Complex designs are broken down into easy to follow steps. The 2D and 3D drawings clearly illustrate complicated machine components. Students hone their skills with a variety of examples and exercises. Each module ends with a summary that students can use to check their understanding when revising for exams. Exam style questions in summative assessments ensure that students are well prepared for tests and exams. For lecturers, the TVET First Lectures Guide includes the answers to all the activities in the student's book. It sets out calculations and diagrams wherever these are required. The lecturer's guide also has an overview lesson planner to plan your teaching, as well as a photocopyable lesson plan template for planning individual lessons. Good luck! Trust TVET First textbooks to support you throughout your teaching career and to help your students to achieve the best results. Thank you.